welcome back to the one podcast to eventually rule them all. My name is Jacob, and I am joined by Devin Bliss. That's me. I'm Devin. Kobe. I'm a professional skateboarder. I'm not even done. I'm a professional skateboarder sponsored by Deathwish. I'm good at card games, mainly Pokemon and especially DC Deck Builder. Uh, yesterday, I just beat Transformers Devastation, and one time, I stole a door off a house in Detroit, put it in the back of my car. Uh, one of those things aren't true. All right. I'm also joined right. by Cody the Shadow Jacobs. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. How am I supposed to follow that up? Oh, God. Uh, magic streamer, mainly. Uh, I've also been playing a lot of other games lately, but you can catch me at the Ginger Beard Man Gamer on most things and T Ginger Beard Man on Twitter. Also joined by the B Snow. All right, look. Can you hear me now? All right. I'm tired of getting death threats from all you people. <laughs> So I I fired our, our intern Brad. All right, uh, for, you, for Brad. messing Fuck for you, messing my, with my mic. But I, uh, it was too much work, so I had to rehire him back. But anyways, you can fi- find me. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube at the Beast Snow. And my name is Jacob. Or I go online by Friendly Plays X on Twitch, Friendly Plays on YouTube, Friendly Plays on Twitter. You can find me at those three locales. Right. Cody, what were you telling me earlier today, right? We were talking. We were spinning the spin some shooting the shit. Oh, we're starting off on, on the Facebook. <laughs> on the Facebook. Uh-huh. And and you're telling me about these magic prices. Because you sold you sold like a box of magic cards and got like three million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I wish. So Not... tell tell me about that. I mean, I did sell some stuff, but uh I mean, mainly the issue is Magic doesn't have a lot of, like, tournament stuff right now. I mean, I'm sure most card games are like that, but so I just figured kind of offload a big part of it. And uh, Wizards has been doing some stuff that is upsetting the community, I would say. <laughs> so they just announced this new secret layer drop, which I'll get to that in a second, but that is a crossover with AMC and The Walking Dead. It's five, actually, technically six, because there's a secret one they didn't tell anybody about. But before you get into that, let's talk about The Walking Dead. <laughs> sure, <clears throat> sure, that's fine. Spoilers. Spoilers, okay? Okay. The Whisper War is over. Now we're on to the next half of the next season. Continue. First season. Um, I think I watched up until Negan arrived, and that was it. I've never seen up to even Negan arriving. I mean, neither. I've seen six episodes. Good. Were they, were they good six episodes, Devin? Yeah, they were the first six, and they were real good. Then, uh, <laughs> So I guess I've, I've seen almost seven whole episodes, because they started that fucking second season, and I was like, I can't do this shit. I mean, that's fair. But, so, they have the secret layer that, I think it's like $25, $30, something like that. But it comes with six cards that are new to Magic. And they have a black border, which normally doesn't matter, but I'll get to that here in a second. But they're all what they call mechanically unique cards. So they're, they've they never seen print before, brand new cards. And since they have that black border, they can be played in any eternal format, which is anything that's not standard. So that's your commander, modern, legacy, whatever. The issue with that is these secret layers are only available for a week and then they're gone. There's no more production of them whatsoever. So the fact that you can play these in tournaments with the older formats and Commander and stuff like that, what's more than likely going to happen with these is people are going to buy them and then resell them for like three or $400 when you can't buy them anymore. And if people need these for the tournaments, you need four of those cards. So you have to buy $1,200 for the set to get four to play one fucking card like it's it's insane so the problem is when they did this whole secret layer thing which what it is when it started out it was uh, a series to bring cards that haven't been printed in a long time back into print to make them a little bit cheaper even though wizard says they don't care or look at the secondary market i mean they do they're a company they're a business that's what they do so it was just new art for cards that already existed to make them cheaper. But now that they're basically selling out and AMC is just like, hey, we're going to pay you a bunch of money to make this set, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, they've had... Fuck like, Wizards. 
<laughs> I, see, I don't want to go that far because I, I honestly, I don't think it's <laughs> Wizards of the Coast in general. I honestly think it's Hasbro because all of this kind of Fuck started Hasbro. when they took it over. Hey, Hasbro's like, by Transformers isn't on the PlayStation anymore on the store. Yeah, so like they've kind of been making all kinds of behind the scenes bad moves, but I mean they've had other stuff like this before. 2017, they had a Hascon promo set that had um, a Grimlock card, a Nerf gun card, and a Dungeons and Dragons card, but they were all silver bordered, so you could only play them in very like small things, and they weren't tournament legal. Then last year they had a My Little Pony set, same thing, like five cards, but they were all silver border, so you couldn't actually play them pretty much anywhere unless it was just you know shooting the shit with your friends or whatever but the fact that they're literally inserting new cards into a market and then going well we technically can reprint them later <coughs> with magic cards but we don't know if we're going to do that yet like it's just it's kind of scummy it's just bad business okay so as a guy that doesn't know anything about what you just said yeah um how often do they do these uh like crossover deals or whatever. Technically, Didn't they just do like a Godzilla one. Yeah, so technically this is the second one, but with the Godzilla one, it was actually in a standard set and what that was is which this one was kind of confusing too. There were two versions of the same card, but one of them was a Godzilla version. It just had the original card's name underneath the name of whatever the Godzilla version was, which they kind of caught shit for that too because they, before all this happened, made this set and one of them was called Space Godzilla Death Corona. And so as That's soon as they spoiled it, they were like, by the way, we're already changing the name of this. Sorry, we didn't know when we printed Corona it. It was going to be a thing. Right. So like they kind of got backlash for that. But Wait, then, so they, is the card already in, in print? Like, can you hold it? It's been yes. printed. Yeah, yeah. So it, that, is that worth like a lot of money then? Uh, actually, let me look it up because I don't... I bet it'd have to be. It was confusing because newer players are... Because th the way the magic works is you can only have four of one card in your deck. Well, someone not really knowing the game might get four of the Godzilla version and four of the normal version and be like, oh, this card was just so good. I didn't realize that it was the same card. Okay, so it's like $12, which... It's an uncommon, and those usually don't reach over a dollar. It was confusing. They had two different names for the same card, but it was a crossover that they did. Outside of that, it's not really ever been done outside of Hasbro stuff. This just raises the question of, well, how far are they going to take it? Like, are we going to be playing with what, Star Wars next set? Or like, I don't know. It's just... They probably... <laughs> I mean, maybe, but still. I mean, because like, if, they were, if Pokemon were tomorrow, be like, hey, we're going to have this new set... And you're actually going to be able to play with Digimon. We're doing a Digimon crossover. Like, people would be pissed. Hey, Digimon's got a new card game coming out. It's already on Japan. It's, it's on its way here. I saw that. Which, we haven't had a Digimon card game in years. I think I... I want to say, like, 2013 or something. Probably. Yeah, so it's been a while. But, I don't know. It's causing a lot of uproar. And they kind of... They did a live stream about it. And everyone thought they were going to, like take it not take it back but say what they're going to do to fix it and all they basically did was well this is what we're wanting to do with magic and this is how it's going to be so expect more of these and fuck off if you don't like it basically well <clears throat> i mean it's i don't think it's a very good business model for them mm -mm. but for the the you know people that are i don't want to say collectors because you know magic people are them uh, I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna pay for it. Oh yeah, so, and that's the so thing. The resellers are gonna be making big bucks off these little cards. Uh huh. Well, and the thing is, with these secret layers, they aren't even allowed to be sold in stores. Like, it is just an online purchase on their site. It's available for a week, and then it's done. They print an order, and that's it. Hold on. Boom. They what? So yeah. they order these cards, and I thought they just came in boxes already, and there was just a limited supply. No, so it's not even a limited supply. They just keep it up for that week, and however many total is ordered, they make that many and ship them out. Oh, see, that's not even... I mean, that's a little better than what I thought would be. Yes and no, but because like, you're only limited to, I think, one per household. 
bots exist. So, I mean, <laughs> people are just going to bot the shit out of it, buy a ton of them, and then turn around and resell them when you can't get them anymore. I just don't know enough about, like, the the market to try to resell. You know what I mean? If I Even if I pulled something that was, like, worth 100 bucks, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. And I was the tossing the aside. about card games is, like, the the market changes all the time. <laughs> yeah, ask Yu-Gi-Oh! So, not even, like, just Yu-Gi-Oh!, but, like, any card game I can think of that's, like, yep. you know, popular. Like, Pokemon, especially. Like, I... I mean, I've sold cards sometimes. Like, I've sold... I've sold some Mega Charizards for, like, uh, $80 a piece. Yep. To, like, turn around and the next week be, like, $10. Yep. Fluctuating. It's, like, it's basically its own stock market, and you just... It's... Like, those cards, cards I assume, are super collectible. And you're gonna want them. I just don't think it's a good business model. I don't think it's a good look for them. They're already shady with some of the other stuff that they've been doing business practice wise, like with the Godzilla stuff. People weren't too fond about that, so I don't know. It Does just seems like have a bad reputation or something like that. They yeah, didn't, I, but they're starting to. I mean, mm. if they do shit like that, they're going to. Yeah, cards are just. Uh, I don't know the word. I don't want to say finicky, but like cards are just wild. People are insane mm-hmm. I'm, I'm i don't want to say i'm one of them because i do not spend money on super expensive cards if they're not cheap like i think full art shamans and pokemon when i was still playing like all the time they were like 100 dollars a piece and like you needed four of them to play yeah in every deck and now they're like one whole dollar <laughs> yeah i mean well and like some of the magic cards that people were playing with back in the 90s were nothing back then people were throwing magic them away and using them as coasters magic has to deal with the legacy format yep so those cards are going to be playable forever and that's why like you have these dual lands that are on what they call the reserve list which means they're never going to print them again they're four and five hundred dollars a piece yeah see fuck all that I, I like i i can't i literally can't fathom paying that much for mm-hmm. a single card to play there are and so like, many more things that I could buy. Yeah. Like, I, I just, if it costs that much, like, Tropical Beach and Pokemon. I know we keep going with Pokemon because that's... What no, I mean, they're, yeah, they're interchangeable like, for the most they part. Were, they were over $100 in, uh, like, 2013. And, like, they, they were the card. And, like, you could, I don't even remember how you got them. I think you may have gotten them from, like, Worlds and stuff. You, certain decks, like Blastoise. Uh, needed Tropical Beach, and if you didn't have Tropical Beach, you were a poor piece of shit, and you just didn't win. Like, you, <laughs> yeah, to, you just have to have money sometimes to play yeah. card games. And, like I think that's stupid; it pisses me off. But yeah, I think that's why I, I never got into card games because I've never been like broke, broke. You know what I mean? Like I could always afford what I needed to afford, right? But I've never had like the expendable cash to be able to go out and yeah, and buy. It's crazy. What I needed. Not only do you need money, like. Okay, say you want like a good deck. I'm I'm gonna throw out a number. It's could be super wrong, could be super right, but you want a good deck, you wanna like pay like two hundred dollars for it. Okay. Right. But then like in a couple months, some set and so some cards in that sixty card deck are gonna rotate out. Right. There will be new cards that you'll have to pay for. So like yeah. <clears throat> I don't really like buying singles unless I I know what I want to play. Uh, I like to I like to open packs. I think that's the best thing in the world. It's just opening. So buying yeah. singles is always just like I fucking hate this. This stupid piece of shit for just buying one single card to get what I want. Yeah, and like when I was playing a lot of tournaments every weekend and we were traveling and everything like that, then it was a necessity. Like I okay, had to keep no, up with the meta and it, do everything. Stuff. Like my best season in Pokemon, I was like, if I would have went to more tournaments, I would have gone to Worlds. Nice. But I played the same deck the whole year. Like I just, I, I just played the same deck, the same. I, I may have like switched out some other cards, but like I had the same <clears throat> Pokemon cards. It was like Pyroar and Kiram, and I just okay. like I spent the whole year, didn't spend very much money on it at all. The most expensive part was going to the tournaments. I don't know yep. how much Magic tournaments are, but Pokemon now uh, is like two times, three times more expensive than it was when I went to like. Fort Wayne regionals. It's crazy. On so, average, yeah, they're about fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, I wish Pokemon was fifty dollars. It, it's I think it's like eighty to play in a region. Really? Was before COVID. When I was getting yeah, like real expensive. when I was getting like real into magic, because there was like there's probably like a six month 
period where all I wanted to do was play Magic the Gathering. Mm-hmm. Like, that's it. I'd go to the local vape shop and we'd play Magic the Gathering there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was dope. We'd vape, we'd fucking... It, there was a Papa John's right next door, you know what I mean? And the only time... Because I could never go to Friday Night Magic, which is like the, the tournaments that would happen every week. Yep. I could never go to that because I was working. But either way, when I'd play, I started out playing with a little booster deck that I got from like Target or whatever, you know what I mean? Nice. And then I started playing with that and then I slowly built that deck into a better deck. You know, that's the that's the one thing I really like about Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, when you can buy structure decks that are, like, they're not awful. Yeah. Right. Uh, I, don't Ma- know, I don't know about Magic. I've, I've never played Magic in my life. But if you buy, like, a Pokemon theme deck, they are shit. Like, awful. You can't win with it. Right. So they with Magic they have these like Planeswalker decks which are pretty much what the the Pokemon ones are but then they started doing these what they call challenger decks that are basically tournament ready like you can add one or two cards if, as you see fit but you can take it to a tournament and at least stand a chance. I I think the point of card games is fucking have fun and collect not spend your whole life savings. Right. <laughs> I think that's just about any for me that's just about any uh any hobby that I have, well, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. You'd think that for most people, but like, if, if I were EA case, is still a company, right? Dude, fuck, I fucking hate EA. No matter <laughs> how much I love playing Madden, I hate EA. But like, I De- Snow hates EA for a completely different reason than you hate EA, Devin. Wait, what? <laughs> Why? I'm I'm assuming because you play fucking you play Ultimate Team. Devin doesn't. Same Devin thing. hates the game because it's a bad game. ATA because he, they put out bad games. Snow eats ATA because they take his entire life savings every week. The gameplay right. is like AIDS, literally. Can't wait for this next gen Madden and like just to just to see like the rain look good. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for next gen 2K. I think it's gonna be good, dude. Oh my god, that trailer looks so good. Oh, looks really hey, you good. You know, I was talking shit about like they only change their faces and like I'm still kind of doing that, but I yeah. saw a side to side. On the yeah, 2K21 it's on the PlayStation. Unreal. <laughs> the PS5, like Steph mm-hmm. Curry looks like a whole different person. Yeah, it looks yeah. real. It, it really looks does. like it well, looks like they're it. actually real people. I don't think it looks real, but I I get it. It looks if it looks if real. you looked at that game, if they if I played the broadcast version of that and you didn't see a controller in my hand and you walked in and saw me playing it, you'd think it was a you'd think it was an NBA game. Well, yeah, I mean, just think. PS1 graphics and like N64 were still amazing looking things. Right. And then you go back and look at it now and go, how did I play that? Ocarina of Time is still a fucking visual like, magic yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Devin, remember when, we, when you bought Quidditch for like $3 and we played it? No. <laughs> and like, I used to play that game every day. That shit is so repetitive. Yeah. And like, well, you can't you can't score until like you get the snitch. Like, that's right. Of- you just have to wait for that. I'm gonna say graphics ain't everything, all right? No, they're not. No, I don't they're think not. they are either. I'm just I'd rather have gameplay over awesome graphics. But from what they show, true. I mean, but the what from what they showed, it looks like the animations were a little bit smoother too, which is really needed because, as much as I love 2K, I I get real tired of having backcourt violations and out of bounds because I'm locked in an animation and my and players like press down. Yeah, and then your player's just like, oh, I'm going to back up, like, 500 feet. I'll I'll tell you, the game that I've been playing most recently is uh, Among Us. Yeah. And that's that's not graphic. Like, it's it has graphics, obviously, but (laughs) it's not like... (laughs) It it does have graphics. It's not like it's good graphics. It's just a little fucking 2D, little small maps, and it's fun as fuck. And then uh, Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia is not, like, an overly fantastic like uh what's what i'm looking for graphically intensive game that's why i play like castle crashers like it castle just, crashers is so it's good it's just drawn but it's fucking amazing like well, I, the game that i saw that had the best like some of the best graphics that i've ever seen is death standing or death straining or whatever death oh, stranded yeah. yeah the graphics on that game are so fucking pretty yeah that's how i feel about them um, and even the music five. in it the music in that game is fucking gorgeous. That's because Kojima's a genius. I mean, but, yeah. But the gameplay was just walking, and it was yeah. boring as fuck. I still say if they did make us wait six years for that game, nobody would be as disappointed as they no, are. No, if, if they announced it at E3, like, the Last year before, year. the year before, and then they dropped it, 
Uh, it would have been met with praise. Yeah, but we waited six whole years, and it's still like, oh, cool, so this is walking simulator. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, I think you might like it, Devin, just because you love Kojima so much. Yeah. It's possible. I mean, Kojima but is the GOAT, though. It really is. I didn't really play Metal Gear Solid until I was older. So I don't have any nostalgia for it. I've never played it. That's that's your type of game. It's a shooter and everything. Right? You can actually play it however you want. That's why I like the new Assassin's Creed games, honestly. Assassin's Creed used to be there was one way to do things. You know what I mean? If you didn't do it that way, you were fucked. Right. Now, it's kind of, all right, this is your mission. Go do it. Yeah. You come up with how you want to do it. You You have a task that has to get completed. Go do it. Or don't. We actually don't care. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you can go fucking, you can go do whatever the fuck you want, really. I don't give a shit. Right? Let me build up my gold and dye my clothes first. Right. Then I'll go assassinate this bitch. That's something about video games. That's some funny shit about video games that I've always wanted to talk about. Overly dramatic situation, right? So for um, The Witcher 3, that's the most recent, like, big game that I've played that has a lot of, that this can talk about with it. But you, you gotta find Siri. You know what I mean? You have to find Siri. But first, He's let's go... Games. Yes, first go find the prostitutes. First, go hang out with the Baron. First, go hunt this wraith. First, go fucking play Gwent with every person you've ever met in your entire life. <laughs> Try and ride this fucking griffin. Try and kill a drowner if you want. Yeah. Hey, go find this old lady some fucking cheese. Hey, go find this old lady's pan at the bottom of the lake. Dude, that was, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is a series I still have not played. Oh, you got it. Don't even play any of them. We'll just play three. Okay. Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, play two on your PC. The first one's so... It's not even hard. It's just like, these are the worst controls. <laughs> the controls okay. are god <laughs> awful. Sounds the Witcher like 2... Cody, I'd recommend starting with The Witcher 2. Okay. Because it's... The Witcher 1 was a lot more... Was a lot closer to... It, it's just you stand there and you press a button and that's how you attack. Yeah. But you don't need to do all that. And the graphics are not good. And oh. the the UI is fucking worse than Xboxes. And <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, just start with two. It's still a little say... bit it's still a little bit clunky, but not nearly as bad. Wasn't The Witcher one of the like free games from PlayStation Plus? Yeah, it's been free a bunch. But either way, you can get you can get a, a GameStop for like twenty bucks. Or I got you can get it on your PC. I got The Witcher three and like all the DLCs and crap for like twenty bucks it was on sale, yeah. which was awesome. Have nice. you played it yet, Snow? I've I played a little bit. Yeah, got well, to I'll tell kill you the, the first Griffin time. Whatever. A little bit could be like one hundred hours, really. <laughs> right. The first time I played that game, I sold it because I got pissed because I didn't feel like uh. Find doing the Pell's goat like finding the Pell's goat farm. You know what I'm talking about, Devin? Yeah. I got pissed. I was like, I'm a fucking <laughs> monster hunter. Too, I'm but... a fucking monster hunter. I don't want to fucking chase a goat around. <laughs> and then I bought it again for like fifteen bucks. I think I talked Caleb into getting that game. And he started playing it and was just like, This is fucking cool and I hate it. I'm never gonna <laughs> play it again. I remember that and I was very disappointed in Caleb. Another game that's like that, another series in general that's like that, two series that are like like that, where you can just go do whatever the fuck you want, even though there's this crazy fucking problem that needs to be solved. Elder Scrolls and Fallout 4, or Fallout. <laughs> yeah, there's literal dragons flying over, but first, do you want to pick some apples with me? <laughs> there's some dragons flying around, but if you kick this chicken, you can't play the rest of the game. <laughs> but then you can't kill the little child that's like... My mom's a jeweler. Have you met her yet? I'm like, no, shut up. No one cares. Leave me alone. GD would start playing that, and she's like, "Can I kill the children?" Like, okay, first of all, that's fucked. Second, no. Third, she's if like, you really want to, go ahead. No, but well, it, it, the PlayStation version, you couldn't until they did the like the mods and shit. Oh, really? Yeah, you mm. couldn't if they didn't want you to kill anybody, then you weren't. Mm. And then the mod version came out, and they were like, "Kill everyone." Like, oh, okay, well. Now we're a lot better. Elder Scrolls is also one of those games where, like, I forget there's even a main mission. Because I'm just so <laughs> off being like, okay, yeah, but hey, I want to do the Thieves Guild shit first. I, right. When I, when I played Skyrim, you know that fucking dog, the, like, demon dog you find or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. You and you have to, like, find his owner. Well, <clears throat> I, yep. couldn't find, I couldn't find the dude that owned him for, like, I don't know, 100 hours worth of gameplay. So I used to so just you just had hunt. a pet. Yeah, I used to just go hunt giants with them, like 
they wouldn't pay attention to me. I'd go run off, and the dog would just fight giants and like take two hours to kill, but it would work. Right, because the problem the giants probably wouldn't fuck with it, would they? Oh no, he did. It would it swing at it, but like can't kill it or hit it. I don't even know if he could hit it. It was too small. That's awesome. I'd, I'd snipe it with bows from deep. That's awesome. I I love Skyrim. I can't oh, wait yeah. for Elder Scrolls Six or yeah, Six, right? Yeah. Yeah, I Which, can't wait for six to drop. I thought I heard that it might be Skyrim two, or at least take place in the no, same. No, it said six. It said six when the Skyrim two. Uh, I thought that's what they said that it was a continuation <laughs> of the Skyrim storyline. I don't think so. I don't think so. But because it, only because when they uh, when they did the teaser for it at E three a couple years back, mm-hmm. it said it said six on the oh, sky. Okay. It might be a continuation, but I don't think it's not Skyrim two. Overall, big loss for Wizards. Right? <laughs> yeah. Overall, huge loss for Wizards. I, they've been losing a lot of faith, and the community is getting more and more toxic, so it's... They gotta do something. Do any less from Magic players? I, we didn't used to be that bad. It's not just Magic players, though. It's just, vi- like, the Card- internet in general, honestly. True. And it might be watching, partially because of COVID. You know, I was watching this... I was I was gonna make a YouTube video about this, but I'd rather just talk about it here, honestly. There you go. Because YouTube videos are horrible, and I hate youtube sometimes so i was i was on tiktok last night right as i do and i saw this this hashtag right it's the hashtag was red for tea and i'm like what the fuck's that i don't know what the fuck this is right i don't get on tiktok enough to really care but i kept seeing it pop up and there was a bunch of people wearing red and like doing dances or whatever the fuck they're doing and long story short there's this this woman, her name's Tia, who's like a mother of five, and she's battling cancer and COVID and pneumonia. So, like, the whole internet got together, like, tw- I think it was 24,800 or 800 million or 24 million 800,000 people recorded videos supporting her and, like, raising money for her and shit like that. And like shit like that is why I love the internet, but I also hate the internet because of the the toxicity of it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. It's either yeah. all it's either all toxic or it's like the best place to be. And, and it's something kind of wild to see too, because yeah, there's there's plenty of times where I'm just like I look at the first post I see on Twitter and go, Well, that's enough internet for today. Right. And then you come back on later and you're like, Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, damn, I miss being like a part of this very wholesome thing. Which, like, I try to fill my Twitter with more of the wholesome stuff and more like positive, don't spread negativity stuff. But like, sometimes it's just it's impossible. Much. Sometimes, yeah. I'm actually surprised that my my feed wasn't more full of the debate shit last night. <laughs> you mean the fly? <laughs> I did see that. That's shit was literally funny. all I saw. Oh shit! Hey, really quickly, I just saw this pop up on my. Oh? Twitter gram. Uh oh. Uh Kingdom Come Deliverance is getting a live action adaptation. So Kingdom Come Deliverance, you start out as a like a blacksmith's son. Like you don't know how to read, you don't know how to write, you don't know how to swing your sword, you don't know how to ride a horse, you don't know how to do anything. Like literally anything. And it's gonna like you have to look like you have to put time into the skills that you want to learn. So if you want to learn how to read before you go to bed at night, you have to sit down with your book and try to read. Oh, nice. If you want to learn how to sword fight, you have to sword fight. If you want to learn how to shoot a bow, you have to go shoot your bow. Like, okay. <clears throat> it's a very progressive based game. And, like, it's even down to the, it's so, like, intricate is so far down to if you're dirty and you go talk to somebody that's of noble blood or whatever, they won't talk to you. It, it's really, it's a really good game. It's very underrated. It comes from uh, Warhor Studios, which is a small, which is a much smaller studio it's a little indie game it's it, it was really fun for me when i played it i haven't beaten it yet but i liked it a lot i might just check that out because it actually sounds really cool it seems like more but, immersive than rpgs usually are yeah and there's a lot of games that are upcoming or that i haven't played yet that i want to play what are some games you guys want to play that aren't out yet or that you haven't played yet i don't know snow why don't you let me know what i want to play <laughs> <laughs> that's where you get all your information from snow what game does devin want to play what game does Devin want to play? Uh, he yeah. wants to play uh, Warzone, or he wants to play FIFA 21. If Devin gets FIFA 21, I'll get FIFA 21. I will, I, I will definitely get it for Snow, but Snow has to get it for PS5. 
I uh, I'm not buying that game. game. Hogwarts Legacy looks lit. I remember like two years ago, they there was this trailer that came out that it was like a, filmed on a fucking iPod, or not iPod, an iPhone or a, a Android or whatever, and it just showed that you, like a character customization screen and Hogwarts, right? And I was like, this is fake. There's no way this is real. And then during the PlayStation conference, Hogwarts Legacy got announced. And I was fucking, I screamed to the top of my fucking lungs in the middle of work. Granted, I work alone, so it didn't really matter. Fair. But I was screaming so, I popped so fucking hard for it. I cannot wait. <laughs> I am going to invest thousands of hours into that game. Absolutely. Unless it's terrible. Unless it's terrible. Which I hope it isn't. Another game I'm really excited about is uh, Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, because uh, like they've done really well with the last couple games that they've dropped. It, it, they've moved from the moved from the, the the linear format to more of the open world RPG format, which I'm happy about. Well, it was a big and, mark for you know the Romans and the Egyptian kind of thing, so you know oh, I was yeah. into that. Oh yeah. And they don't, they, you don't explore that side of the uh, side of history in video games all too often either. For some reason, I don't get, I don't know why, because to me, that's the, that's what I'd be exploring all the time. I think it's just not the phase anymore because we had the like the mummy and national treasure and all that that like that's all everyone talked about. But I just think that kind of passed for now. Yeah, speaking of the mummy, you see that one that they opened up and uh... yeah, and fucking eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, that's Excuse the me. Mummy. Exactly. The mummy's, the mummy's getting me. That's how 2020 is going to end, you know? So right. they opened up a coffin. I was going to say, that is the die. last thing we need to do imagine, right now. Imagine, 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 okay? Imagine Egyptians come to America, back. right? Well, imagine I mean, Egyptians come to America, and yeah. they go to, like, the fucking, what, what are they called? Where the the big how the big fucking plate things at the, the cemeteries mausoleum. they house a bunch of people yeah they go to a mausoleum Arlington. right they go to a mausoleum and they pick out fucking Abraham Lincoln's body and fucking just open the casket <laughs> well he'd be bones so well right but or, I mean, imagine Egyptians did that shit what would Americans do to Egyptians or we would get Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter right just saying good movie just saying. I don't know first off. Yeah, it wasn't Americans that opened them up. It was some other Egyptians. Oh, was it? I yeah. thought it was Americans. I, no, they weren't Americans. I I listened to the video. They were speaking something else. I don't know what it was. But ah. They weren't Americans. Uh, hey, hey, check out this pyramid. It's, you know, right there. You know, there's... Every the source of pyramid media pyramid that I've ever fucking... Every source of media that I've ever heard about opening up coffins is bad, so... Terrible. <laughs> so I'm cool. I'm not going to. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I, I don't know. I'd be scared to go into the pyramid and be like, yeah. I don't know what's down here. Because, like, fucking booby traps. Right. Like, sure, the shit's probably not true with all the scarabs and stuff. But if it is. Right. Also, if you haven't, uh, go check out the uh, mummy sound that they recorded. Uh, wait, there's a sound? They, there's a video that uh, researchers uh, got, like, a voice of the mummy. Nope. Nope. Mm mm. Nope. Put it, it is, back. It is Put hol- the lid back on. It is From literally like hilarious. Ago? <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> man, man, man. <laughs> they th- they made a 3D vocal track, Cody. Oh, okay. And used a fake larynx <laughs> to nice. make the sound. <laughs> No. Hold on. Yeah, it just Scientists kept were yeah. able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords <laughs> with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what our ancient Egyptians sounded like. <laughs> he said, ah. I'd be scared of a mummy if they said. Ah. <laughs> if they just sounded like a turtle during mating season, yeah, I think I don't think I'd be too afraid of that. All right, so we got Hogwarts. We got uh, what Valhalla. Valhalla. Another game that looks really fucking cool is that a uh, Death Loop. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, dude. That looks so like so much fun. God of War looks cool too, but that's not coming out to like God knows when. <laughs> Get it? Because God of War. Uh... Uh, 
<laughs> so the stuff that I'm excited for is like the the next uh, tech like episode, I guess you could say, of the Dark Pictures anthology. So like uh, this year earlier, they had Man of Medan. Well, they're coming out with the second part of that, which is called Little Hope. Still need to play that. Oh yeah, my I'm god, play that soon, I think. Man of Medan is really good. Um, definitely play it if you haven't. And like the Little Hope is, you're basically replaying the the Salem Witch Files. Oh no shit! Yeah, so it looks terrifying. Like you just stumble upon a town that's like it's, part it's a lot hills, like a, part. It's a lot Salem like Witch. until dawn, right? Yeah, it's the same makers. Okay. And I think technically all part of the same universe, but this whole trilogy is a new well anthology. I don't know how many episodes are going to be in it, but they're all supposed to kind of like how American Horror Story is, where they all tie in together in some way, shape or form in different ways, though. Yeah, that's what this Dark Pictures anthology is supposed to be. Dope. But the games are so good. Man of Medan was awesome. Like me and Jeannie played it and beat it the first week that it came out. And then we replayed it again. And then I played it on stream. Like it was, it's awesome. So I'm very excited for the next episode of that. Okay. That, I might pick up men and Medan and do a stream of that before you October's should. over. Because yeah, little hope comes out on Halloween. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they also, uh, amnesia is coming out on Halloween as well. Uh, yep. Amnesia. Amnesia, Rebirth. amnesia looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, dude. Amnesia is, terrifying like i even watch playthroughs of it and i have to turn it off uh the new five nights of freddy's is coming out too and that looks pretty fun <sighs> i'm so over those games <laughs> i never played one so i i never really played them but like i watched the shit out of markiplier playing them and <clears throat> like after a while it's just like eh, whatever cyberpunk yes yeah that does look good yes yes sure it does yeah we I are so. keanu reeves what looks good about it besides Keanu B. Snow? <laughs> I mean, it's just, just open world. Well, fun. first of all, CD Projekt Red can do no wrong. That's true. Okay, and second of all, start. second of all, it's a completely. I'm excited for it because it's a completely different vibe than The Witcher, and they're trying something completely different. But it's also already been confirmed that it's the same universe. Oh, nice! Same universe as The Witcher. Yes. Oh well, they ain't that fucking special. Because you remember how at the end of the... I don't want to spoil anything for people that haven't played Just, this, so never mind. You mean that game that... Jacob? That game's been out for fucking 20 years. Go okay, ahead. that's fair. Do you remember at the end when you were traveling through war worlds? Yes. It's like that. It's just a different world in that universe. Look, anytime they can do multiverse with anything, I'm down. Right. Yeah, like the new Spider-Man movie. Uh, oh, man. That looks so good. And then we only see a poster. That's uh, not even a real poster. You guys know that, right? Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, but it's called Multiverse of Madness by the same guy who did the Tobey Maguire. Do you want to know why? Do I want because to know why what? It's called that. Doctor uh, Strange is in it. That's not why it's called that, but uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's why. No, I mean, it's probably a part of why. it, but I don't. I mean, Spider Man's always been like one of the first to fuck with the multiverse. Yeah, Spider Man like. He's the big multiverse character. In I mean, there's literally Madam Web that kind of controls the multiverse. So what, you guys think you guys yeah. think old man uh, old man uh, fucking McGuire is gonna be old man Spidey? Listen. What if what if Toby is Madam Madame or Madam Web? Listen, what I don't think will happen, but I would be cool with. Look, I don't give a fuck about the Andrew Garfield Spider Man. I don't care about I him. Mean, all. It's fine. But I w if Toby McGuire was the uh, the Spider-Man from like the Ultimate Universe, who uh, I don't know if you know, but I'm gonna say anyway because it happened a long time ago. That Spider-Man dies mm -hmm. uh, on Miles Morales's like front yard. Yep. <laughs> so if if he's either that Spider-Man or like <clears throat> the old fat Spider-Man uh, that like oh Miles yeah Miles, then I'd be I'm cool with either one of those. Like that's fine with me. I mean, but fuck Andrew. I don't care what he does. Andrew Garfield well, Spider Man's were fine. He was a good nah. Spider Man. He was not a great Peter. I don't think he was a good either. I don't think he was a good either, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, I, mean, I don't think so. But how much of that was writing and not him? Right. I don't know. It wasn't a good one, though. I just matter. don't. The movies never clicked with me. 
Hmm. There was nothing know. about the movies where I was like, I, I need to watch Jamie them Fox. again. Yeah, dude, fuck with yeah. Jamie Foxx. He's and coming back. Yeah, I know that's another thing that makes me think that's what it's going to be. And he's not blue this time. Ooh, what if no, they actually I, I, do like a Sinister Six? That'd be pretty sweet. I, I'm like, I, don't see why they, I mean, as, as far as the Andrew Garfield situation goes, he was a fine Spider Man. The movies were fine, but that's it. Yeah, they they don't compare to the Tobey Maguire or the Tom Holland Spider Mans in the slightest. Oh, I agree. I mean, you I still think... don't even think the Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland ones are in the same league. I don't either. I think Tom Holland is the is Spider Man. He is Peter Parker. Literally, yeah. You guys, okay. You guys need to go fucking watch Spider Man Two again. Uh, I have. It, it was good, it. and it, I mean it, that's fine, but like I don't know. Dude, I yeah. guess I just like the younger Peter anyway. Listen. I do like the Tom Holland movies more, but I and I don't know. Maybe it's because they're newer <clears throat> and they look better. But Spider Man Two is fucking. I don't know how we got on this subject. Me neither. But, but Spider Man Two is fantastic. I mean, it's it's they're great movies. Yeah, three just, kind of ruined it, but I just don't put them in the same in the same category because Tom Holland plays such a good both Spider Man and Peter. Yeah, I think Toby did. Did too. Did fine. So the thing about Tobey Maguire is he's also ugly, so he's perfect. <laughs> I think the thing. Think I think, I th- yeah, he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be a fucking loser dork. I think the biggest True. thing about the Tobey Maguire Spider Man's for me <laughs> is that he never looked like a teenager. <laughs> like yep. none of them no, look like teenagers. Yeah, right. And, and that kills that my. That kills my my. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. But to be able to like immersion, yeah, immersion, yeah, it kills the immersion of it because I see fucking Joe Mangello in it, and he's fucking four, like thirty five years old, ripped to shit, playing a uh, the dude that he beats up. Now, like, I think it's if they had done it in reverse, and to- or Tobey Maguire ends up being like the Ben Riley Spider Man, then I think we're good. That's fine. I see more it- Jake Gyllenhaal because he's super hot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and he did do a good um uh the why can't Mysterio. Yeah, he did. Like they actually did a, a new age Mysterio pretty well, and Mysterio is always one of those that, like you never really cared about him. Right. Like, it's probably like the perfect time in cinema to do Mysterio too. So no, who's right. your favorite what's your favorite Spider Man? Toby. What's what's Toby? Like? Absolutely. Cool. Probably because I grew up with it, so Right. Yeah, I mean, so did I. I mean that put that plays a special place in my heart too, but I think that's why I push for Tom so much. So I, my nostalgia isn't like I can't yeah. be like I don't like Tobey Maguire more just because of nostalgia. You know what I mean? Right. And let's not forget, three was awful in more ways than one. Yeah, not even just because of the emo scene. They also ruined Venom. Why does every Why does every superhero in in television have an emo scene? Remember when Flash's emo scene was a whole season? Dude, it was the end of every season. <laughs> It was literally, literally. <laughs> the uh, they were always good though. like right i don't know and, how many times i watched his mom die but every time i was like god damn that's sad dude that <laughs> show has made me cry more than any show it's yeah. crazy it really is. i do I, still just hate that version of green arrow though fuck, fuck you <laughs> hate it. that's not I, I, I don't even want you on the podcast <laughs> I'm really <laughs> listen. The Green Arrow that I'm used to is the like light, oh jovial, God, joking one that never takes anything seriously. Here we go. <laughs> not, not dark, brooding, wannabe Batman. He's not. Oh even, my he's... God. <laughs> Stephen also, Amell was the best Arrow. I don't care. He really. Was. Who was the best yeah, Arrow? Stephen Amell. Oh yeah, he made, for sure. He made, yeah. he made the Green Arrow great again. I mean, he and did. I'm fine with it. I think I'm actually probably more pissed of what they did to Deathstroke. So. That might be more. Okay, I, I can agree with that. Why? What? Deathstroke was badass in that show. I mean, sure. Great. I felt like he was uh, like there and then not there, like too quick. They, they could have done some better things with him, but I think yeah. he was great. He's oh, yeah, also he's fucking Mono Bennett, who was amazing in Spartacus and everything else he does. Well, yeah, like when they actually showed him and let him do things, he was <laughs> awesome. But then they just kind of shoved him to the side every chance they could. I mean, I can agree with that. They definitely didn't give him the the rub that he deserved. Yeah, yeah, and that's Deathstroke is like the main Arrow villain. Exactly. Overall, great win for uh, Arrow and Stephen Amell. Overall, great win for video games. Now that we're talking about comics, it reminded me of another game I'm excited for. 
fucking Gotham Knights. Okay. Oh, I am pretty excited for that. Oh, I didn't even have see that. Have you seen that, Devin? I have. You I don't haven't. think it looks badass? What the fuck are you talking about? I said I'm excited for that. <laughs> oh, I thought you said, why are you excited for that? No. Yeah, that game. You haven't heard about it, Cody? No. Four-person cooperative Gotham game, basically. Oh, that that's you, right. That you don't get to have... play as Batman in. Yeah, it doesn't have yeah, Batgirl Batman. and Nightwing and all that. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, that looks uh, good. Though. Red Hood. Yeah. Somebody oh else. Red Hood is probably my favorite Batman oh, storyline, by the way. Why would... God damn, Cody, you're... <laughs> because... <laughs> why? Okay, I, 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 I guess I should say for the animated movies, because Under the Red Hood is, like, probably one of the best animated that they did. All right, you made it a little better, but... <laughs> Still not a fan. I don't know. There's just a lot of emotion, and like you see, like well, uh, the main reason I like the animated movies with the Red Hood is because Jensen Ackles does his voice, so I'm true <laughs> there anyway. But true. I, 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 I think I Cody's just getting all his notes from Caleb today. No, 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 no. Yeah. These are all my opinions. Sadly, <laughs> what if Cody is actually Caleb? <laughs> yeah, I've I tried been to me the whole time here all day. Same can't believe you i talked to him for like an hour now that we're talking about the future let's talk about the past Why don't okay we? okay how about games that should have sequels that haven't gotten them yet yes there are plenty all right i'll, I'll be i'll just name off some and then we can you know dis- discuss if we want um okay. so calm uh, aren't they coming uh, out with a new one of those i don't know <laughs> I want to say they announced it. But, I mean, those were good games. They're yeah, cool, yeah. I feel like there's so many shooters nowadays that I probably wouldn't play it. Okay, uh, Fear 4. Yes. Uh, yep. Without With more mechs. mechs. Need more mechs. <laughs> more mechs. It's just all mech suits now. Play it at my house. You can yeah, only can watch you play, play it? Uh, uh, I can only watch Jake play it at my house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twisted Metal. Yes, yes. Dude, I've been asking for that for a long I time. With some twisted metal, I was so bad at twisted metal, but I wanted to play it so much when I was younger. Like I used to love it. And the the thing about it is, all you would have to do for a reveal trailer for that is a black screen and fucking sweet tooth laugh. That's it. Mm-hmm. Don't even uh, have to do anything. Isn't there, isn't there a new game coming out that's kind of like twisted metal? Dead Space. Uh, I never played Dead Space. Obviously, the uh, most popular one, Half Life Three. <laughs> yes, um, that game that I was talking about earlier, the like the the twisted metal knockoff spinoff or whatever. Uh huh. It's called Destruction All Stars. Okay. Um, it looks like you can. It's like a, a mix between like, it's like a derby basically, but you're beating the shit out of other cars. Oh, look at it. What about uh, Simpsons Hit and Run? Bruh! <laughs> Dude, I played have, so I have, much of that game. I have that game on PS2 and GameCube. <laughs> that game is so fun. So fun. Well, I well. don't I don't understand why it wasn't. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm, and I know I know they're like trying to uh they're doing another game like this, but um Left 4 Dead. I thought a new Left 4 Dead was coming. Yeah, I thought they announced one, didn't they? It's not Left 4 Dead. It's it's uh, something else by the same uh, company. Oh, uh, okay. They also uh, just did an update for Left 4 Dead too, didn't they? Still, like this late? Damn. Yeah, like recently, like within the, at least within the past month. Damn. One that I would kind of like to see, which is along the lines of Twisted Metal, is Vigilante 8, if anybody remembers that. No idea. Yeah, yep, yep. It's above it was, my pay grade. It was kind of like Twisted Metal, but like... Different in a way. Speaking Trying of that, I need a new uh, driver. Dude, driver yes. was so good. Yes, I need a good Mafia Four because yeah. Mafia Two was fucking bad. Or Ma- I mean, Mafia Two, Mafia Three was bad. You got a Mafia remastered, so I mean, that's true. I've been playing Mafia One. What about Medieval? Do you guys remember that game? The game they just, rem- they, I, they I just re-released. It. Well, they remastered it, yeah, but I yeah. mean, like an actual. Follow what about, up. What about Fortnite Two? Mm-hmm. Um, Fortnite Chapter Two. You mean? No, Fortnite Two, a second Fortnite game. <laughs> All right, then let's put like Among Us Two. Then they were actually working on it. Yeah, well, they were. No, they they are now. 
I saw they were in. Nine. And then they stopped because everybody was like so into the first one. I, could do I heard because of the proper popularity of Among Us one, they were making up in Among Us two. So like three days ago, the developer officially canceled the previously planned sequel. Oh, did they really? Yep. Yeah. Wow. It's fucking lame. Right? Get everybody hyped just to be like, all right, fine. I'm hoping that they only did that so they could just focus on what's already out. Yeah, they said they want to instead improve the current version. And then speaking of hype, um, the new Fall Guys. Yes, I can't out. wait for season two. Oh, that's already out, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, when did it come out? Uh, today? That, like, yesterday? Today? This week? Oh, no shit. I didn't even know. They didn't yeah, announce it, or, like they didn't announce it or anything like that. Uh, Fall Guys <laughs> season did. two is live with new content. No shit. Medieval levels. Yeah, it's a medieval uh, season, kinda. Oh, okay. Now I'm, this I'm a, with it. This has gotten a an announcement for it, but it's taking forever to hear anything else about it. And I'm just ready for it. Skate four. Yes, dude. The skate series was so much fun. It really was. I, I never played skate. I was like, exclusive. really. Yeah, I was just Tony Hawk or die. Nah, you need to play skate. Tony I mean, Hawk or die. Play it. <laughs> yeah, it's skate three is probably the best. Worst? The no, worst. no, no, no. The worst? Yes. Wow. Why do you say it was the worst? It was just okay. boring. Cody coming out here with these hot takes that are awful. <laughs> no, they're not. Skate Go two. To the skate three is unanimously, the unanimously decided as the worst skate game. No, it's skate not. two was the best. No, it's what not. What about what if? All right, this isn't going to happen. Like, I think everything that's been said is more likely than what I'm about to say. Uh, a Dragon Ball Z fighting game like Tenkaichi 2 or 3. Or nah, I would. Budokai or Tenkaichi. I'd play the shit out of it. Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, really like, happy with that. I mean, what's different like between that and, Xenoverse. like, not like, like what's different Xenoverse between that and Xenoverse? Uh, 2D. Uh, I don't know. No, not even. No, not Tenkaichi and. Oh, yeah, 3D. I guess they were 3D. It's like. I don't know. It's just easier. It's not online. You don't have to fucking. I don't know how to explain it. Like you just have yeah. to play them side by side. They're yeah, just the feel of it. Different. Yeah, they're both sure. fighting games, but they're totally different. Like you can control your flights and. <laughs> yeah. I did love the tournament mode in the Tenkaichi series. They're way better. I mean, I don't know. They're just like and the Budokai series. For me. I want a uh, uh, fucking like a D and D game. Uh, fucking Baldur's Gate. Do that's not, not no. You that's literally not, don't. Would you let me speak? Will you let me speak? No, I I don't even want to because <laughs> it's Baldur's Gate. Right, but I don't want it to be like Baldur's Gate. I want it to be like mean. You've like played it. I've seen gameplay of it. <laughs> I mean, is that kind of Skyrim though? Yeah, I wanted to play like Skyrim, but in the but in the actual D and D universe, the D and D universe, right? That's Baldur's Gate three. No, it's not. No, it looks more like an MMORPG. Yeah. What about a new Fable? Dude, Fable was good. I can't wait. Like, so, I I don't... I hope this isn't a hot take, but I liked when you you (laughs) had, like, the the different elements that you could mix together. Was that Fable 3? Yeah. That one was probably my favorite one. What the fuck is wrong with you, Cody? Yeah, see. What, hold on. What did Cody Wait, say? no. I'm trying to think. That say? Fable 3 was his favorite Fable. Which one was Lost Chapters? Was that 2? Cody, why are you... <laughs> I'm... Now, okay, now I need to look it up. This whole, Which one... been, this whole podcast has been a fucking Cody bad it's... take. Uh, I mean... We're supposed to be friends, Cody. And what's you're different from very, life? Very hard. You guys just argued with me a week ago that Fear 3 didn't have mechs at all. I, hey, I we weren't know. arguing. No, 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 no. We argued that Fear 2 didn't have mechs. No, no. You said Fear 2. I said the first two were good. I just didn't like the third one because they added the mechs and it was too much of a shooter. I'm pretty sure you said that Fear 2 is where they added the mechs. I can get the receipts, my friend. I'm going to look right now. Please, Please do. do. What is Fear then? Is it an MMORPG then? No, it's a horror game that you sometimes had to shoot your way through things. It wasn't black that happened to be scary. Fear 3, Rise of the Metal Gear. <laughs> okay, sorry. It was Lost Chapters. Lost Chapters was the one that I was thinking of, not 3. Okay. Okay. I'm not as mad at you then. Because that was when they did like the, the, like the re-release with all the extra DLC and shit, right? Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm less mad at you because you like 
it wasn't three that you said was <laughs> yeah. the best. I, j- I did like the mixing of the elements, but that's also why I like Spellbreak. So, you know, whatever. Spellbreak's fun. It is. It's, I don't know. I get my ass kicked a lot, but it's cool. Uh, Infamous. Infamous could use another uh, game. No, I'm cool. Um, um, I, I second another... time was fine, but. Bioshock game. Yes. Bioshock would be good. Infinite was really good. Absolutely. It was. You know what really needs a sequel? Fallout the Witcher 3. <laughs> yeah. Bloodborne. <laughs> well, you have to have Bloodborne two, does. You need two different Witcher sequels. You need one where you got with Triss and one where you got with... Uh, oh, God. I, my mind is blanking, but the other one... Yennefer, you need three. Yennefer. One where you get with Triss, one where you get with Yennefer, and one where you don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, nobody went off alone. Uh, unless you had sex with both of them. Oh, that's true. So everybody did. <laughs> that's literally... Triss? I can't remember. That's literally why I played through a second time because I didn't want Garrett to be alone. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> that's so wholesome. <laughs> Still want my man Garrett to be alone. Be happy and married to Jennifer <laughs> or Tris, whichever one you prefer. I'm trying to think if there's any other. Games I'm ready that... for a new Tom Clancy to come out too. Can't wait for Madden 22. Can't wait for Dave Mira BMX 2021. Dude, okay, so that actually wouldn't be terrible. Well, he's dead. The last one was I know, but like they could still use his name. I don't know any. That's the thing is I don't I know. Yeah, I was about to say, is that even a thing anymore? I if you could X Games in a long time, so I don't. Same. Know. That's where I got all my info. I think the last time I watched an X Games was the first time someone did a double backflip. On a fucking on the dirt bike. Yeah. That's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, okay. That reminds me, fucking freak style. I thought you were about to say something else. Uh, See, I was thinking MX vs. ATV. No, that game comes out fucking like weekly. There's a new. (laughs) I mean, not anymore. It did for a long time. I can't wait for. Never uh, style. No. I did not. I don't know how to describe it. It was a motocross game. Like you. I don't. Oh yeah, I think I do. I think I did. I think I did. Brian Deegan on the cover. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, What about Road Rash? Where's another one of those? Uh, loved it. I actually think that game came out relatively recently, like a new one. Did it? Or one is coming, I feel like. I, I now I gotta look it up. Because like that game was awesome. You think they'll ever come out with a Destiny 3? No. I fucking hope not. I hope so. They're re-releasing new gen Destiny 2. I don't see them making yeah, a 3. No. <clears throat> I want that new Anthem update. I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> I have it. I played it for a week, and I was like, I "This is the most boring it. thing that I have ever played in my life." I tried. It was like, although none of the weapons did anything different, so I was like, "Nope." I I just I can't. I don't. I want to. And then, if you were the tank, you literally just walked into an area and got sniped and sat there for an hour. Yeah, I was. I used the interceptor. And- Sorry, the Colossus or whatever the hell it was called. Yeah, the game was just boring. It was. Like, I thought I was going to be Iron Man, and I wasn't. Right. It was super cool when it came out. The thing I didn't like is, like, I was like, I'm going to fly everywhere. It's going to be cool, but you could not fly everywhere. It's like, well, you're out of juice, bud. Better fucking take a break. Better walk around a little bit now. Better fucking swim down here. And for some reason, the water is what cools, uh, like, makes you able to fly again. Yeah, or like I can't remember if it was flying up or down. Didn't call. I think it was flying down. Flying down because you also, just gained the momentum off of that. The, the camera sucked. Like when. You yep. Yep. I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. There was <laughs> just a lot of bad. Read a long time ago about an update, and I ain't heard anything since. But that also reminds me. You guys heard of Bio Mutant? Because I've been yes to that game for like yes. It looks like so much fun. Now. It well, looks I like so it, much fun. I thought it looked fun until I recently saw a new trailer, and now it doesn't look fun. Anymore. Like I'm not excited about it at all. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't I'm know excited for it still. Like, jaded because it's been so long, and I'm just fucking salty. But I, I don't think I'm excited for it anymore. But I was super. Time will tell. I'm still pretty excited for it. I'm not like super hyped up about it, like to the point where I'm gonna like. I'm probably won't pre-order it, but I'll get it like a week or two after it comes out. So apparently there was a game in 2017 called Road Redemption, which was the same makers, but it wasn't actually Road Rash. So are you excited for the new Halo that's coming out? Of course. Yeah. It's the only reason I pre-ordered Xbox. 
Yeah, we talked about that last week. Oh wait, we can't get it until next year. Oops. Whoops. Yeah, you want till next year? You gonna get the Xbox? It's already no, pre-ordered. Halo. Oh. I got a PS3 for Kingdom Hearts three, and we see. Whoops. What <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Was... God. Yeah. That's so funny. Don't worry, they released like seventy two handheld versions before. Right. Like they they released awful like flip phone games. <laughs> yeah, they did. Like, oh, man. was a chain of memories or some shit like that. That is so like, funny. Three hundred eighty seven over two days. Like three sixty five over two, and that game is awesome. I'm not. No, it's not. not. It's just like I am. It's terrible. The what? Game is awful. I'm oh yeah, it was terrible. I haven't played it. Oh, <laughs> it was it was pretty good. There is so much. Game. And there is, and like the third one was good. It was you know. Good. It was, and I never finished it. Same. Shit either. I got. I got pretty far. I think I got to Big Hero Six Land, yes. and that's as far as I got. Same. Do you guys know what's on tonight? Don't nope. don't even say it. Don't say what it. What comes back? What's don't back? don't say it. Supernatural. Oh! Supernatural is back tonight. Oh, I uh, wish I watched that show. Oh God, Cody, please just mute your mic. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I, uh, not even Caleb hates Supernatural. Like, I mean, he does. There are many things. Uh, he does. And I never said I hated it. I just haven't watched it. Well, you should well, start right now. Problem. That is a problem. That's almost Isn't there like 30 seasons? 15. This is season 15. Cool. Okay, you've got plenty of time. This is it on Netflix? Netflix? Yep. COVID. Okay, then so I actually might. Times, you don't have anything to do except this podcast every Wednesday or every whatever day today is. What is today? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. It's fine. You ain't got shit to do. I did just finish Korra, so. It's time, Cody. It's time. And I'm caught up on the boys. All right. It's, Cody, you have no more excuses. Start right after this podcast. Cody. I might. There, there's no might. How, you, your, your wife strikes me as somebody who's seen every episode of Supernatural. Nope. Twice. Yeah, multiple times. And no. She no. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. She has watched, like all of the American Horror Story a million times and stuff like that. Something fishy is going on here. I don't like it. I don't like this anymore. Cody, I think I have to retire from the podcast. <laughs> I mean... Go do a podcast with yourself. I mean, yeah. don't worry if we get famous. I'm going to be the only one left anyway. So. <laughs> Devin's made sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Also, never yeah. ask why, because you will never find out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Devin, you want to talk about uh, Pokemon cards? You know, I was thinking about it, but I really... <laughs> Didn't we really it. only already talk about it, though? Kind of, yeah, yeah, basically. I basically covered it. I was just going to... I mean, we we really covered it. I, like, Charizard, super expensive. Uh, collector shit. Yeah, we went over it. Yep. Fair enough. Big win for enough. Pokemon cards. Big, big win for big Pokemon win, cards. Look, they... Big win for Game Freak. A lot better than Magic. Uh, yeah, because they actually yeah. care about their fan base. Pokemon yeah, has stood the test of time, and I love it. I mean, it has, and that's yeah. they're also that set that Champions Path that just like sold out immediately because people are I said a word I can't say on the podcast, so I won't. Shitty. People, we'll go with shitty. Yeah, people. <clears throat> they're just like I gotta buy fucking. One thousand dollars of Pokemon cards and fucking buy at Walmart. So Jake Paul. I can, like just me can have these. I don't know. I don't even know who those people are. Uh, bots. Basically, it's just it's just crazy to me how fucking popular Pokemon still is. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, I think for it's an easy game. Uh, I don't know. Like having cards are just it's cool. They're cool to look at. I don't. Yeah. You're a fucking loser. I know you might have been called a loser years ago for playing Pokemon or whatever, but now everyone fucking loves it. And if you don't, fuck off. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, card games are cool. Pokemon's cool. Yep. There's definitely been a resurgence, in, or maybe not resurgence, but a, like a, a, an upswing in nerd culture that has made it more acceptable to be a nerd. Oh, yeah, because, like, people get beat up for having, like, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh cards when I was in high school. Right. I did. And now it's just awesome. normal. Well, okay, our school was literally in the middle of a cornfield. <laughs> our principal had to go over the PA and be like, kids, please don't bring your shotguns to school. I know you're going hunting in the morning, but you just can't. 
Is that you something that actually happened? You forgot the uh, part where we drove our tractors to school. Oh, yeah, we had bring your combine to work day, or bring your combine to school day. That was part of Spirit Week. That is so funny. Also, they tried to do drive ride your bike to school day, but people lived like five miles away. <laughs> so they can so they change it to ride your tractor? No, they still did ride your bike. They would just drive to like a mile away and then bike the rest of the way. Yeah, but there was nothing like driving the old Austin Aries to high school every day. <laughs> you didn't even have that in high school, did you? I didn't. You're right. Really? No. I missed the old Austin Aries. I thought you had it your senior year. Nope. Because I was still in school when I rode in it. No, nope, it was... I thought you were only a year older than me. No. Damn. How old are you, Snow? I'm thirty. You're thirty? Oh, yeah. Shit. Fuck. When did you yeah. graduate? Oh seven. Oh eight. Oh eight. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you yeah, and Josh were ahead of me. The first time I came there, uh, like was the week before your guys' graduation. The first time we came, there was an oh eight, Devin. <laughs> That's literally what I just said. Right. So you graduated in oh eight. Yeah. Yeah, but he didn't get Austin Aries until after that. Yeah, because. Anyway, just had some okay. fucking just had some fucking grown men come pick up a bunch of sixteen and seventeen year olds, fifteen, sixteen year olds. No big deal. Yeah. Drive seven hours round trip to go do such things. <laughs> they said. Was, they said. I was like sixteen the first time we went. To I was fifteen. Fucking... I was fifteen, and they said, "Y'all want to come to Ohio?" We said, "We can't. We don't have. We don't drive." No, I was still fifteen when I went. It so was our asses were like, "It's fine. Let me the, drive." I would have been fourteen. Yeah. Riding with <laughs> don't be snow. Fucking... Actually, no, it wasn't be snow. It was adult it was Caleb. Caleb. <laughs> Neon. Yeah, I think Whoa. Caleb and me were the main drivers there for a while. Who rode to that? Was, was me, like, you, and Jeff? Wasn't it? I don't know who I went with. All I know is Caleb turned his headlights off on the fucking highway. <laughs> that sounds like Caleb. And I told my mom I was going to Greenfield for a wrestling show, but I was actually in Mount Gilead, Ohio. Oh man, Mount Gilead. I uh, I don't envy you there. You were there too. I know. I hate it. Remember fucking EXWF? I nope. wish I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> At Sphinx's house. At whose? Sphinx. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember back to the I basic that score? familiar. Because you came to Sphinx's house. That was the house you went to when we first met each other. Oh, uh, was that that like triple threat tag match that we had, Devin? Uh, yeah. When I Where the, it was you and Tyron versus me and Josh versus whatever Anthony only, Lee was. The only day I ever wrestled DC Doom. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I wrestled the Yeti. And you gave me a vertebraker. Oh yeah, you needed one. I did. Felt good. Like, y'all ever wrestled a match and just, like, in the middle of the match, you're just like, this is bad. Like, what am oh, I doing? Yep. Why am I yeah. doing um, I mean, you've watched CBYW, right? Our match at Vortex with Big Will, yes. Don't Man. Know. As soon as I broke my Achilles tendon in half, I thought, oh, no, here we go. Which was, like, five minutes into the match. Oh, hey, I had to take the bump for Will, brother. Dude, yeah. I was thinking, yeah. I felt like my life was going to end. And then your Achilles did end. Yeah, it blew up. <laughs> Me versus Rock and BYS4. That was it. You didn't like that one? No. I vaguely remember that one. It's my last, so my else. last pro match, my last pro match at Midwest. Horrible. Did you, Snow? Did you wrestle a Craig in a ladder match or something at a BYS? I. It wasn't a ladder match, but we had ladders. I think about that fucking match every so often. I think <laughs> I wrestled Craig. I think there was a match where it was me, Josh, and I want to say it was Craig. I've got to wrestle three people from Chicago. I think Craig Nick. felt sorry for you guys, so he. Uh... Who felt sorry for me? Craig. <laughs> no. <laughs> that man hates me. Craig what? does? What's Craig? Craig doesn't hate anybody. No, not Craig. Sorry. I'm Rick. See, I thought Rick hated me too. <laughs> I genuinely uh, thought Rick hated me. Listen, Rick Cody. So, so here's what happened, right? We, me and Devin and Snow go to, go to, um, fucking Allentown, the last yard show that we went to. And at the end of it, like we're leaving, and Rick's uh, Rick's giving everybody hugs, and I'm just going to walk in the car because I genuinely don't think Rick likes me at this point. You know what I mean? Right. And Rick's like, "What? You're not going to give me a hug?" I said, "Why? You don't like me." <laughs> 
and he said, he said, I like you guys don't like watching you wrestle. I was like, fair enough. All right, man. <laughs> See, I never had that moment. I was supposed to wrestle him one time and he left. Me too. <laughs> He straight up was like, nah, man, I got a concert to get to. Hey. <laughs> I was you supposed to wrestle to Rick go. once. Okay. I was supposed to wrestle Rick once, and he said, no, I'm going to wrestle Stacy in a death match instead. Oh, see, my knee just literally <laughs> left the entire venue. That's so funny. So, uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say not a fan. I just okay. don't like watching you wrestle. Right. Wrestle or wrestling. One time. I wrestled he- a hack. I was supposed to wrestle Focal, and he said, it's dark, I can't see, I can't wrestle. <laughs> and then he dove off of a barn onto Tony Sheets. Yep. I was supposed to wrestle, uh, supposed <laughs> to wrestle Snow at, at just another Super Show 2, or Midwest Extravaganza 2, but I couldn't, because I had to help my mom move. Listen, the reason you don't get to wrestle Snow, uh, Snow is because you're always fucking teaming with him. Does win. It's always. I've never been impressed. Devin. When have me and Snow ever had a tag team? Wasn't I awakened the thing forever? I literally just watched one with you on stream last night. No, we weren't together. I watched both Delete versus Outshine. Yeah, and we weren't Awakening, together. And I watched Awakening versus Caleb and T- Stacy. Delete versus Outshine. Listen to what you're saying. Elite versus Outshined. All right, who's on whose team in that? In that? Caleb and Snow versus Devin okay, and Stacy. That's all you need. And then I watched. Awakening versus Caleb and Stacy in the ladder match. It wasn't a tag team match. What the fuck are you talking about? You guys came out together, and you guys won together. It was a tag team match. I didn't win. I went through a table. I was dead. Snow won the match. I'm done with you. Done with you. (laughs) Be done, I guess. (laughs) Literally wrestled against you guys. Win. Uh, Job Squad versus Awakening. Yes, but that was on a tag team match. God damn it! It was a ten man tag match. No, no, no. I wasn't even in that match. I you are. I was you are fucking match. lying. Uh, you are the one that threw me out of the ring. Okay. You weren't the legal man. <laughs> yes, I was. No. Devin, stop. Me and Snow. I don't know. Me, I'm high. I don't want to do this. Me and Snow tagged once, and then I went completely off script and tried to like be some type of super heel, and I ruined the entire thing. Good job, Cody. Really? Yeah. See, doesn't even remember it. Because probably because I'm like used to you doing stuff like that. So <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I'm pretty used to you fucking up the spot. Yeah. No, it wasn't even that. Like, I just always try to do too much. Like. I changed my move set every week so nobody knew what the hell to be prepared for. Cody, we knew that. Yeah, we all do that. Just I, like you were like, we, how do you do the end of heartache? And then you never did it. <laughs> I got scared. Got scared of what? I don't want to hurt nobody. I tried to get you to give it to me. See, I was so the opposite. I barely added anything to anything. I just punched. I don't do Boy, moves. Some good punches. I just yeah. I just That's pose. Funny. We don't do moves. I just pose too much. That's true. Yeah, I but, shake. I just shake my shoulders like Brock Lesnar. But at least I never tried to do a Canadian Destroyer. Well, you should. No. Yeah, everybody does it. No. No, no. Yes. Why not? There are certain things that a man my size should not do. And a Canadian Destroyer is not one of them. And flipping over and halfway breaking someone's neck is probably one of them. Bro, come on. Don't be a pussy. I don't care about me. I'm not going to get hurt. I'm right, care about ending someone's life. You want it. You're fine. It's a wrestling match. You want to win. Don't right. Ask. Do you uh, not want to win? Wrestling's real to me. Meet me at the skate park. We'll see if you're tough. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I would watch wrestling and see something cool and be like, oh, I want to do that. And then I would see like Jay Lethal and be like, oh, he has some cool moves. I want to do that. Jay yeah. Lethal. I know. It's like that's the, the lethal injection was like the main thing I, that I was like. That's my cool. name's Cody the Shadow Jacobs, and I'd like to do a lethal injection. <laughs> did everyone, I did the lethal injection to you and broke your skull. <laughs> yeah, you fucking headbutted me on the way back. I'll never forget. Because it's my fault that you didn't put your head to the side. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, it's my fault. You my fault that you, where you were going. Man, you sorry, should I have take the bump for you. You should have looked where you were going. Well, I just won't bump for you anymore. Well, that's fine because we don't wrestle anymore. So that's crazy. It is crazy. You sold our ring. <laughs> you fucking piece of dirt. <laughs> well, I mean that part's true. Cody, you're literally winning the heavyweight championship. Oh, okay. You were literally a champion, Cody. You were the last one. No, I wasn't. Yes, you God were. I never won a title with you guys. How many it's... fucking head bumps did you take, Bubba? You literally beat me for the championship. Did I? Yes. yes. And then I just left with it? Yes. <laughs> no, the whole thing shut down because you were champion, basically. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> kind of. How do you not remember that? It was your crowning moment. It was your come to come out party, brother. You know, you've literally got confetti, you motherfucker. <laughs> no, I did not. There was no confetti. Yes, you did. Uh, what the fuck? I'm, all right, I'm on YouTube right now. <laughs> okay. Fuck. That's KCW cool. videos. <laughs> I want after you. Oh, you need to record this podcast. Overall, big win for Cody. <laughs> Overall, big win for Cody. <laughs> Cody, big match, Jacobs. No, literally did not happen. Good Why time. can't I find you guys anymore? <laughs> it's because we deleted the videos. Because you became champion. We had this close-up shot. <laughs> they said, damn, that's the champ. We gotta go. <laughs> I don't remember. You guys deleted it from my memory, too. So thank uh, you guys so much for watching. I yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Sorry. Yeah, it's a good thing. Good thing listening. this is a visual yeah, good podcast. Thing. <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening. I mean, I'm it's going to be on YouTube. YouTube. Uh, if you don't fail, follow me on my socials, Friendly Plays X on Twitch, Friendly Plays on YouTube and Twitter, and hey, uh, yeah. Hey, this before is... we go, do you want that yeah. Lord of the Rings uh, tidbit of trivia? Yes. Way here, the L- Wind Lord and Land Rovel, his brother. You don't find that out in the movies because they don't actually name off the eagles' names in the movies. You have to read the books to know the names. Hmm, what are the names again? Sorry. Way here, the Wind Lord and Land Robel. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. That should be the name of our podcast, like the title of our podcast this week. I'll for sure be remembering that for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Twitter.com slash sexy uh, I oh, am Twitter at T Gingerbeard Man on Twitter and Gingerbeard Man Gamer on YouTube and Twitch. Well, I'm just the beast now at everything Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. We appreciate everybody who's uh, you know listened, and uh, hopefully we'll get some some more uh, some more listeners. You know, we we release this every single Monday, um, so on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Anchor, YouTube, you know, anywhere podcasts are sold. There you go. I fucking sold. love you guys. I love you guys. I love you, guys. I love you, guys. I love you too. Have a great night. We'll see you next Monday, okay? Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.